I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna to work on adding distress to a design in Inkscape. So if you've been following along, in the last tutorial, we made this basic circle logo, Santa Monica, California. And now we're gonna do an overlay, just like you see up here. And I used to always do this in Photoshop, but now if you know where to look, you can go just as quick, even faster in Inkscape. Before we begin, just screenshot this, because you're gonna need it later if you're gonna play along. Um, this will save you some frustration, or at least it saved me frustration while I was learning. So here we go, we got our logo, we'll make it a little bit bigger. And I have imported here, and I'll have a link in the description, this design, this is a JPEG, it's not transparent, and that's key. So we're, gonna go, we're doing a JPEG distressed overlay on top of our logo. You can start this process just as is, but I'm gonna modify this a tiny bit. So let's go up into filters, color, lighting, and then if you make sure you click on live preview, you see how it just kind of um, made it, the more the contrast is heavier. It's still not transparent, it's still opaque, but this set, you have to play with it. Whatever uh, JPEG you've picked, play with it, it's easy to do. You can just visually move it around. But I like it how there's more contrast and that'll make the effect work better. So apply, close. Now you wanna look at your distress and figure out what part do you wanna use. So it's too big as it is right now. So I will do shift control and I can make it a little bit smaller. I need this to go on top of my logo. It looks like it's gonna be behind it. So I'll move this over here, you can change the, uh, where it uh, resides in the layers, I'll put it on the top. So it's on top, now it's hard to see where I want my distress to go, because I'm not just gonna make it distressed, I wanna distress it artistically. So click on your, your distress uh, JPEG, and over here, if you don't have it open, you wanna get your, um, your fill and stroke open, it's this paintbrush in the corner. I've got mine open under opacity, bring it down. Now I can see where the distress is gonna go. So I'll zoom in, <laughs> I'll zoom in, and I'm gonna make sure I grab my distress layer. I kinda of like this vertical line. And that's kinda of cool right there. It's all, it's all preference. If you click again and you have your handles here, you can kinda of move it around. Then that, that might be too distressed, but for this exercise, let's just keep going. Cause it's time for the magic. So let's zoom out because you need to grab everything. So click off in the middle of nowhere. If you're on the selector tool, grab everything. So all I'm doing is I'm dragging a big giant rectangle. Oh, I forgot a very important step. You need to scratch that. Click on your um, JPEG distress layer and go back to full capacity. If you don't do that, it's gonna make the whole thing translucent, which we don't want. So start over, so right here. So click in the middle of nowhere, grab everything, You've got it opaque on the top, your logo's on the bottom, then go to Object, Mask, Set. And then look what you did, look, look at that. That has some distress, that thing has been worn. But maybe that's not your style. Let's do this again, and we'll try a different type of effect. So down here, I've got, this time I made the perimeter have a color, just so you can even see even more of the effect. And then I've got, this is another JPEG. JPEG is key, opaque. And what is this thing? It looks like it's stones or sequins or something. I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna play with this one. So let's recap. First, I'll make my logo a little bigger. I'll click on my distress to be, and I'm gonna to go to filters, color, lighting and then live preview will let you see what's happening. So that's kind of cool. I, I didn't play with it much. You can play with it. I'll go to apply, close. Now this, I gotta go over the top. So again, to recap, I go to, I call these the books. I, I gotta find out what they're really called and then put this one on top, but I can't see. So I go to my fill stroke menu, opacity, bring it down. And this one, I think I will make the whole thing tighter. Right there, let's zoom in so you can see what's happening. This time I will not forget, put the opacity back to 100, and then you wanna go into everything, select it all, and it's the same procedure, it's object, 
mask set and then zoom in. That's kind of, so it's like, like a more of like a clothing or apparel thing. And I want to show you the white distress that we made. That's not actually white. That's just showing white because the background of Inkscape is white. I've got some color swatches here for you. So if you were putting this on a shirt or something, this was what it would look like if I can drive. This is what it would look like on blue. Or if it was like a gray shirt or a sweatshirt or something, you've got this effect. So have fun with it. And let's just take a look what we did. So this is the original logo that we made actually in the last tutorial. And then we did the quick version here with the kind of the grunge look. And then the next one was that sequin or whatever we used. And you can pretty much use anything as long as you follow these rules. This will save you some headaches. What we did was we did a JPEG distress over an Inkscape object. But you could also do the JPEG opaque distress over like if you would save that object or something as a PNG. What you can't do is use your distressed effect coming off of a PNG that's transparent. For some reason, at least when I tried, it just vanishes. So um, yeah, so anyways, um, you know, <laughs> I appreciate it. Today I sat in the dental chair for four hours getting my face shot up with Novocaine. And there's the there's my exit music. Thanks.